see what we have in store here. I actually think that Bayonetta, I don't necessarily think Bayonetta loses this matchup, but I do think that you have to play very particularly, like you have to play very different against projectile characters as Bayonetta because Bayonetta is a character that doesn't have like crazy fast burst options. You don't have like a fox dash attack. You know, her bet, her quickest option in terms of like from a run-in is going to be her up. Right. It can be like somewhat committal. Well, not, uh, say I'm not really giving moves uh, an opportunity to land on the ground. Okay, here's the up tilt change, but not to capitalize too hard. That tech gonna pretty much put Salem in a really good position here. Ooh, the double jump air dodge. I don't think he has his uh, second jump, so he's got to commit to using his up beat. Yeah, and the early one will catch Salem off guard. Okay, I like how far. close that Salem staying to move. He's not uh, giving uh, moves to the space to throw out and set up these projectiles. Yeah, and a lot of people would say Salem is a lot more. Oh, dang, we tried to hit him with a dirty setup, though. <laughs> For Zare drop into Dare. He almost got it, it. If it was a any other character, that probably would have worked. Yeah. Got to be careful against Bayonetta. But Salem going to close it out. Going to use the intangibility from which time to kind of get in there. Oh, man. Salem is just playing so... I um, usually don't see Salem playing this aggressive here, but, you know, you are playing against that projectile character. You don't want to give them that much room to work with. That's right, and that's probably why he's keeping so close to moves. Consistently staying in his face. Yeah. Throwing out these fair ones into up airs. He's going for these grabs. Boss up aerials as well. Who gets the tech but gets hit by the... Uh, down air twice. <laughs> Rare to see that from uh, just the tune up there. Okay, Salem keeping the pressure on with these falling aerials. And moves to cover here. Ooh, gets the up but gets him back on stage, but just to get back here. Oh, but the bomb may have saved him. Okay, the Nair not going to connect. Again, up setting him on stage here. Good use of your B reverse. Just kind of right away from Salem. Yep. Oh, but the bullet. Climax. Oh, and there's the upbeat to catch the tether here. Do we have a jump? Oh, and there it is. The witch time to catch the upbeat. What do you do once your options are cut like that? No double jump. You got to use that hitbox recovery to recover, and that's where Bayonetta can strike with that guaranteed witch time almost. Right. Especially when you have a, a very linear recovery. Yeah. Like the spin attack. Because once he hit the tether, he got the double jump, and he got the tether. At that point, the only thing he could really mix up is when he upbeat. But he had to eventually upbeat. But That's once right. he dropped so low, Salem knew that, like, okay, at this point, like, now you have to up B or you just die. He could have pulled out a bomb. Oh, yeah. And, uh, they just kind of up B far away, waiting for the bomb to reset him. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely an option, of course. But Salem, very aggressive play style. I really like it um, against, in this particular matchup especially, where, oh, dang. Okay. So everybody's just playing with the food now? Yeah, that? I mean, we we styling, bro. It, it, it's Hyro Saga, man. I guess you have the style. Salem's like, all right, guys, you know, I, I definitely want to put on a show. Definitely want to get those clips going. <laughs> where are those esports and uh, all those esports Twitter's at? Right, start talking about me. <laughs> Look what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so moves. Trying to get the center stage. Uh, I feel like this game one, definitely a lot slower. Oh, no. Oh, no. So oh, after, yeah. And after, so after you get hit, you can't grab the ledge for like about a second, pretty much. And right there, moves. Didn't wait for that second to go by. Oh, we got the roll, though. We rolled through that whole witch time. Yeah, he, he pretty much didn't let that second go by. Tried to tether, but since that rule was applying, he didn't latch the ledge with the tether. And he's going to have an unfortunate SD there. And, man, definitely don't want an SD against someone like Salem as well. And look at these aerial pressures. Salem going for so much cross-ups, too. It's amazing. I think he was going for cross-ups. He was going for roll reads right there. He would run in and just short hop back and throw out an air. Just to cover uh, any aggressive option that moves in to throw out. If he had uh, thrown out a boomerang or pulled out a bomb, he wouldn't have been getting caught by these options. But he knows that he moves is kind of, he's playing scared. Oh, yeah. Now he's got him off stage here. The bomb is in hand. Oh, now it so exploded when he got hit. Yeah, it actually exploded first. Then Salem hit him with the back air, which is the order in which you want to do that. So the bomb could have potentially uh, saved them if Salem pulled the trigger just a tad bit earlier. But amazing timing, amazing edge guarding. And, you know, that is obviously very projected, right? You yes. know, when you have the bomb out, when you have yes. all that stuff out. So right there, Salem just waiting for the bomb and knowing when it was about to explode and just back at him right after just beautiful edge guarding from Salem. And good stuff, Salem. I mean, that's, of course, why he's one of the best in the world. 
Send moves. Send moves. Uh, you're already here, moves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, again, amazing set coming out from both these players. Unfortunate SD game, too, but mm -hmm. still, nonetheless, really good stuff. And moves is definitely showing everything he's got. Yep. <laughs> got the camera, he's got the charm, he's got the shirt. Let's go. Hyrule Saga, you already know. Bunch of amazing stuff.